sin. To deny that it is wrong dishonors God, who says that it is a sin. That's one extreme that we need to avoid. But there's another extreme, and I fear that we in this church are more prone to this extreme, by and large. And that is that we condemn all homosexual behavior, all homosexual people, I should say, to eternal damnation. We say if they're homosexuals, they're going to hell because of their sin. But homosexual sex is a sin just like any other sin. And God will forgive it just as He forgives any other sin when somebody repents of it. God forgives all sin, whether it's homosexual or heterosexual, when people confess and repent of it. Now many people will give lip service to this truth, but I fear that if a homosexual person walked through those doors, they would not feel that truth expressed by our behavior. They would not feel welcome to worship with us. They would not feel that they could find forgiveness. And this is the other extreme, that we, by our actions, declare that homosexuals are people are less than people, less than us, less than deserving God's forgiveness. And we need to avoid this extreme as well as that. <coughs> Friends, we are all sinners. We all struggle with temptation. People who struggle with the sin of homosexual desire are no better and no worse than the rest of us sinners. We need to challenge each other to overcome our temptation and to love each other as we try to call upon the power of the Holy Spirit to accomplish that purpose. The Bible is clear. Homosexual behavior is a sin, no matter how lovingly it is expressed, no matter how committed the relationship in which it comes. But it is not the unforgivable sin. Homosexual sinners needs God, need God's forgiveness every bit as much as heterosexual sinners. And God's promise that all people will get that forgiveness. God promises that all people will get that forgiveness in the same way. Through repentance done through faith in Jesus Christ who is forever our Lord and Savior. Amen. Father, sometimes Sometimes we struggle with your word. And sometimes we don't like what we see in it. Sometimes we're glad it's there. Father, forgive us when we joke in a callous fashion against people who are struggling with a sin that we don't fully understand. Forgive us when we lash out or when we don't reach out. When we don't reach out in love, speaking the truth in love. God, that is a hard balance to maintain. To say we love you, but not your sin. But that's what you do. You condemn our sins, and you justify us. So what less could we do? Help us to learn what it means to love homosexual people even as we condemn homosexual sin. <coughs> it's a challenge, but I believe it's a good challenge. Thank you for your word and for teaching us and challenging each of us, we pray in Jesus' name.